Hi, I'm Raul Vedi, and I'm going to demonstrate the Bone Setter app. The first window you're going to see is this one where we import an x ray. So we're going to take our mouse and we're going to put it here, click on from file, and I'm going to pick an x ray that I screenshot from our pack system. So here it comes up. The first thing that comes up is choice of scaling method. And uh, you can either do auto or manual. In order to do the auto, you have to use the sizer that we're providing you. And these are right and left markers. If you have your x-ray text, use them and you can uh, size the x-rays to, uh, to the board. So I'm going to choose auto because that's what I did. And there's the marker that we took the x-ray with. And this is a left humerus. And the minute I click on that, that's what I have to do. You see that the uh, whole board is now sized for the x-ray. So just a couple of features that we're going to do. This is my mouse. I'm going to come over here. There's a couple of things we should show you. First of them is... If you want to measure angle, you can just push get angle and you come up here and you, you can put a point here and a point at the bottom of the humerus and then same thing on the back, bottom and maybe here and you can see that on the top the angle comes up. It's acute angle 24 29. Now if you want to get rid of the angle, we just pick angle over here. In this box, all the objects that you have come up. So you see we imported an x-ray which is this x-ray and if you click on it you can actually show and hide the x-ray it's gone and then show it comes right back. And this way you can have multiple x-rays on your tablet. Some are shown, some are hidden. Distances you can show a ruler. So we can take a ruler and we can bring it over here and you can turn the ruler around with the ball. And if you wanted to measure a distance for a screw you could just come over here and do that. There's an easier way as well. Is you can use this tool here, which is get distance. So instead of using the ruler, you can just click on the edges from here to here, and you can see that the distance is 2.24 centimeters. And you know, just if you want to do the whole humerus, you could do right from here to here, and that will measure it. And you see the distance comes up on the top right corner. Click off that; it's gone. Now we're going to do a tracing. So first thing is you can go to Polygon Trace and you can see how uh, I can click on the top. That's where I'm starting. There's a big ball that comes up and I can just follow the bone over like this and the line comes up and where you want to where you click you can change to a new direction. Come down here and we're outlining that fracture. Not as, I could be much more careful and much more exacting. We're just doing this for show, but you can see how. There you go. And you come around here. And you can see the top of the humerus. Right about there. And that makes an outline of one of the pieces. Now, you can actually move a piece out of the way. If you want to do the next piece, which is this one here. Then, if you want to, you can use a free trace. Which is, which is a little different than the polygon trace. And this, is, this just works by pushing on your mouse and then you can just actually draw it just like you wanted, like this. And all the way up. Whoops. And I find this is a little bit harder to do as you can see. So if you don't like it, you come over here and just delete it. And you can see that it's, the object is gone from, your, from the box here. So let's go back to Polygon Trace, and we're going to do this one again, and a lot easier, I find anyway, instead of doing the free trace, and you can see real close, you can see this fracture fragment comes down like this, and up, and then you can come all the way up here, and bring it over, up, and that makes that piece, and then you can get out of the way, and again, go to the next one, Again, come up here, do the polygon trace here and here and here. And this piece here this is the third piece. So I have my three pieces. Now, you know, I can just take these pieces. If I want to get the x-ray out of the way, I can go here and show hide. It's gone. And I can move my pieces into uh, alignment. So just turn it a little bit. And I can come down here and grab this piece, bring it over, and turn it where I want to. Turn it in, bring it over, and bring our piece over here. Now, a lot of times, a lot of times, it's hard to use the mouse to make these small adjustments. So we've included these little tools here. 
when you click on them and it makes fine adjustments so you can move the little pieces in just like that you can move this one I can turn this a little bit and you can click or you can just hold and it goes about a millimeter at a time and you can see that's a nice sort of reduction the best option obviously is to have a template on the other side so we can do this go if you have an x-ray from the other side there we do that and I've got one and this is a this is a, a x-ray of the other humerus and again I, I took the picture with our marker right here and this is the right side as you can see I'll click on it and uh, it scales it to the tablet and now you can see this x-rays in front uh, and it's also the right arm so there's a tool here that you can click and if you do that it horizontally replaces it you can see the other objects are behind now if I want to bring this to the back there's a marker here it says you can see it just moves that to the back and by pushing that a few times and now you can actually turn this so I can turn it so it's straight up and down as you can see I'm just pushing on that and it's come straight up and down and let's uh, readjust our pieces so that they fit uh, our template let's start with the right thing here and move it up and you can see we're just gonna turn it a little bit see how it turns this way or turns that way I got that and I'm gonna have to rotate it a little bit to make it fit and again bring it over that does that nicely then I click off that I'm gonna move it a little bit higher so I'm gonna click that in that looks a little bit better and or you can turn a little bit this way and that sort of clicks it in not too bad seems to all line up now I find sometimes that the black x-rays are a little bit hard to see so you can actually click on the x-ray and the x-ray uh, toolbox comes up and you can turn into a uh, reverse image and that's often a little bit easier to see underneath We've got our templated uh, humerus onto the normal side we're just going to show hide that so we're just left with the uh, with our humerus here and we're going to start putting some screws so we think we're going to put a lag screw so I'm going to go over here get distance and I'm going to mark from here to here where I'd like to put a lag screw it shows it's 36 uh, millimeters so now I'm going to come over here and get a new tool and we have a whole list of tools here 3.5 cortex screws, plates, locking screws um, all kind of components that you can pick from that you want to put in um, all the way to some nails on the bottom and so we're going to start with screws so we're going to use a 3.5 cortex screw so I'm going to go over here and uh, I believe I measured 36 so I'm going to go to 36 there's a 36 or 34 and 38 so I'm going to pick the 38 screw it pops right back here I click on it I can twist it around and then I can move it right into where I'd like to see it right about that and you know it looks a little bit long so uh, what I have here is we have an option you can change the size so you can make it smaller see it's smaller it's 34 you can go smaller or you can go bigger it stays at the same area but uh, that's a 34 then put another lag screw that's here and again I can I can uh, do it by distance again uh, measure the point from here to here and it comes up 313 millimeters or 31 I'm going to get another screw uh, this time we'll get like a 30 and see how that plays out here it comes in I move it here put it where I want to turn it around and then locate it in looks like I need a little bit bigger than that so I can come over here and I can increase the size and I think that's a 38 that I put in there and uh, that sits very nicely now uh, the next step of course is to put a plate and I'm going to go back to the new tool and get out of the cortex screws and I'm going to uh, go and get a posterior humerus plate here it is 
open that and they come up and this is AP or lateral and uh, I'm going to go to the to the AP. It's actually a three five plate so I'm going to pick maybe an eight hole plate and see how that works. Here it comes up and pops up and I'm going to place it right on the bone. It looks a little short. I think I'd like to have a little bit longer plate than that. So again I can go to the next size and I can just increase the size and that gives me a little bit of a longer plate and uh, that's how that sort of sits and that's basically my template now I can check I actually did this case after I templated it so I, I can add an x-ray here's uh, the case after I did it uh, again I'm, gonna, I'm going to uh, automatic size it and there it is I'm going to put it I'm going to actually rotate it around and make it kind of straight just like I had it that's just going to take a sec just like that and then I can push it to the back again using my uh, back buttons and uh, and compare it to what I did so here it is here's the uh, here's a segment and it looks like I used a little bit smaller plate. Uh, let's just move it in. And look with the sizing, it actually looks quite good. Pretty much exactly what we had planned. And with these with these sizers, I mean you can see the plate, it's actually two holes longer. I can decrease that. Let's go to the plate. And we can go to the shorter plate. So previous, that's the previous plate that we put in there. And you can see how that lines up pretty much exactly to what you'd expect. And that's, that's all with the sizing capability of these sizers and the program, which uh, enables you to do that.